Hi everyone, welcome to this short video on how to create a favicon for your Google site. Well, did you ever wonder how they had these cool little images by website addresses on URL? Well, it's pretty simple how to do that. Here we have a couple of links for you. One to create the image itself, a favicon generator, and there's a number of them. And step-by-step -step instructions on how to add that custom logo to your site. But let's walk through this for you here real quick. The first thing you want to do is to take an image or an icon and turn it into a favicon. There's a number of these website generators and this one here works just as well as the rest of them. So the first thing you do is to go and browse your computer for the image you want to turn into a favicon. Uh, here's one I have ready to go anywhere on your computer. Let's upload it. And we have that image ready to go. We simply click on create icon. It gives you a little preview of what that icon is going to look like at your website address. And if you like it, just click on Download Favicon. And save it to your computer somewhere so you know where it's at. Now the next thing we want to do is to add that to our site. And here are some nice step-by-step -step instructions that I've linked you to, but let's walk through that process. Let's go to this sample site here real quick. And once I have that image ready to go, I'm going to go to my More menu and select Manage Site. Once I get to the Manage Site area, I'll be able to get to the Attachment area. Let me click on Attachments. And now I'm going to upload that favicon to the attachments from wherever I have it on my computer. And there it is. And I'm going to open that and it's going to upload that favicon. And notice right away up here in this tab, that image now begins to appear because that favicon is in the attachments. If you don't want that any longer, all you have to do is to select it and to delete that item from attachments. So when we're all finished, we just return back to our site and now that image is in the beginning of that URL. And it depends on the web browser of how it's going to actually display. So, hope you found this video helpful. Have a good day.